this week we're working on the doghouse roof. I'm trying really hard to get the doghouse primed before it gets cold out here. So there's a bunch of laminating and trimming that needs to get done in order to get it to that state where I can prime it. And of course this includes some difficult laminations. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. I was trying to be patient about taking the forms off of the deck beams, but I couldn't wait to see how the overhead was going to look with the forms removed. Overall, it looks great. There's a ton of room and the deck beams will look really great once they are varnished and the overhead is painted white. I was disappointed that the deck beams did not mate perfectly with the roof. There are some gaps down the center of the roof where they, there could be a tighter fit, but the glue filled those areas pretty well. I have a lot of cleanup to do and some small gaps to fill, but once that is done, it will look awesome. Hi Matt, I'm here to help Matt with the, and Yanni with the building of the Duracell project here for the day. My Patreon reached out. We came out to the open house. It was wonderful. Best uh, coffee cake we've ever had. And uh, so I thought I'd come out here and help. Awesome. Well, we're so glad for your help. And what are you doing today? Cutting the fiberglass and the peel ply for the rooftop. Hi, YouTube. Uh, my name is um, Rowan. Uh, I met Matt and Yanni uh, down in Mexico, actually, right after they picked up La Paz. Serendipitously, we moved to uh, Port Townsend about the same time, here to help Matt and Yanni get their boat up and sailing again. We got Rowan and Matthew here to help. Uh, we're going to glass the roof to the doghouse sides. Last week we just glued the roof down, this week we're glassing it in. We're gonna try, we're gonna get the outside done and then try to get uh, as much of the inside done as we can before the end of the day. It's a big project, so I'm happy to have help here with me today. Let's scrape the bottom really good and uh, like count to like 100 as you're stirring it. And then it should be mixed up pretty well. Rowan is going to have the epoxy roller. He's gonna roll the clear epoxy into the corner and I'm gonna stick the glass up then I'm going to roll the glass out and he's going to be wetting out the fiberglass as, uh, as we're going down the line. Going down the line. <laughs> Any questions? Concerns? Well, you're going to do it if they can buy epoxy first though, right? Yep. Yep. Um, okay. I'm going to go grab a mask real quick, a dust mask. And We laminated two layers of 17 ounce double bias fiberglass to the underside of the roof. So there will be four layers total, two on the inside and two on the outside to hold the roof to the doghouse. This requires a lot of time and patience to work underneath the roof like this and Rowan and Matthew did a great job. This needs to be done carefully and they were extremely helpful in making sure that it was all done well. I had Rowan using the paint roller to get lots of epoxy to the surface and Matthew was the mix master as well as the peel ply applier. We tried to take an assembly line approach to get it done as quickly and efficiently as possible. Your team. You get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom always said. And jokes aside, they were a really big help and infinitely more valuable than what I was paying for.
I'll just put it up, and then you just kind of roll over it. It'll spit slowly absorbs into this peel pie. Just keep rolling and keep rolling it, and pressing it up into the corner here. Rowan, did you race in the 2016 Pacific Cup? I did. I bought a Cal 40 named Redhead. We uh, set a record. Fastest Cal 40 across the Pacific ever. How many days? I want to say it was 10 days, 13 hours. Jeez. And you won the Navigator's Trophy. I did win the, Na the Henry Lloyd West Marine. <laughs> Navigator's Trophy, which, which is was not a small deal. It's a prestigious thing to, to win. I was very, very lucky and very proud to win that. It was very fun. What do you think Duracell will do here to Hawaii? Jeez. Should be well, less than 10 days, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And of course, the inspector kept a close eye to make sure that we were up to her very high standards. Hey, I'd patch it, but you'd stick to me. Tonight, we're going to cut the brow off of this doghouse roof. I'm not cutting all the way off, I'm just cutting a shape out uh, that's kind of following the leading edge of these windows up here. Seeing it finally take shape is really cool. Give it a haircut. That's right. It looks sharp, I think. Yeah. Do you like it? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to round these edges and, and fiberglass over the edge and add some rails. Start finishing it up, painting it hopefully soon. You look pretty special right now with your head sock. Much, much better. Thank big, you. Im big improvement. Thank you. The next project tonight is to glue on the little extension that goes on the half side of the doghouse. So this one doesn't have any deck beams underneath it like the forward side does. And so I'm using this two by four to hold up the middle uh, of this little roof. So we're gonna glue this on tonight and I'll probably do some glassing as well. That's like the eyebrow. No, it's not like the eyebrow. The forward part is the eyebrow. <laughs> that the <night>. brow. <laughs> but it's the back eyebrow. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Actually, you don't have an eyebrow in the back of your head.
So now I gotta glass it all together. The eyebrow to the doghouse? Yep. And to the doghouse sides. And I gotta fill in. I have this little these little pieces to fill in. These little gaps. Lemon tea. Thank you. Perfect timing. The rain just started. I had my mom round off all the edges with the router and a quarter inch radius round over bit. Fiberglass will lay over a round edge a lot easier than a sharp one. If the fiberglass can't bend around the corner, it creates a void under the fiberglass. So one of the last projects we have to do on this doghouse roof is to cover the end of the foam here. And so I want this to be a nice strong uh, lip that's around the entire doghouse roof. So we're going to put one layer of the 17 ounce Biox and vacuum bag. I want this to be a really nice tight lamination. It's a huge project because we have to go all the way around. Uh, and of course these monster projects, I have my mom here to help me. It's the evening so it, and it's gonna take us a couple hours but I'm really looking forward to having this done and seeing how it looks, so here we go. I was very excited to see this project done to a point where I bit off a bit more than I could chew. Instead of getting the entire perimeter done at once, I should have done it each side independently, which would have been a lot easier to vacuum bag and would have only taken two days instead of trying to get it all done in one day.
Last night, my mom and I laid up the perimeter of the doghouse roof. Uh, the layup went really well. Putting the vacuum bag on did not go very well. I uh, did not, you know, get a great uh, seal on the bag. I'm not sure how it's going to look. How's it look? Uh, well, I've only pulled off one edge so far, but it's, so far it doesn't look terrible. Could look a lot better, but uh, yeah, it does. It doesn't look bad. Looks usable. You were debating even whether you should bother vacuum bagging the perimeter, so it's not like it. Was yeah. What happens though is that if I decide I'm going to vacuum bag it then I start to rely on the vacuum bag to do a really good job to get the fiberglass stuck really well to the boat. You know, if I don't vacuum bag, I'm going to roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it, do a really good job to make sure all the air bubbles and everything are out. But if I'm going to vacuum bag it, then I rely on the bag to get all those air bubbles and stuff out. Then if the vacuum bag doesn't work, then it's all for, you know, not to, to just doesn't work very well. But you're not seeing a bunch of air bubbles? No. We did a pretty good job laying it up before we put the vacuum bag on. Hard part is getting it around this edge. So far, I'm not seeing a lot of voids or anything. Hallelujah. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't taken the whole bag off yet. So that last lamination actually turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to redo a couple spots, but otherwise uh, it's done for the most part. There are a few small projects left to do and one fun project in that we get to build a rail around or like a gutter around the entire doghouse roof because I would like to be able to catch water uh, with the doghouse roof. And so we're going to be working on that next week, uh, but we're getting close to being able to prime it. If you're interested in more of this kind of hard dodger, doghouse, any of that kind of uh, construction on sailboats, we have been in touch with Andy of Sailing Melody, another YouTube channel. He's been building a kind of enclosed cockpit that will have a hard top on it. We've been helping him design it, figure out the construction method he's gonna to use to put that thing together. He's working on that now, and if you're interested in that kind of content, like I said, you should go check out their channel, Sailing Melody. They're over in the UK working on that boat. We're looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Next week is our 100th episode. We are planning to do a special episode and we would like to include some questions that you may have for us about the project or about the channel. So this is an opportunity for you to ask us anything. And so please include them in the, in the comments. Without further ado, here are the new Patreons for this week that we'd like to thank. First, uh, Mike, who just moved up to Rhode Island after retiring in Florida and he bought himself this Pearson 365. It's a catch. Uh, he's owned an Irwin in the past and a Morgan, and he's always looking for project boats, so good for him. And he said he's getting ready to do his own vacuum bagging projects. Also, thank you to uh, Matthias, who is in Copenhagen. He also just did his first vacuum bagging project on his uh, Beneteau, but he does a lot of racing. He sails a J111 that sails around all over the place. Sounds like it's in the East Coast and the Mediterranean. So thank you very much, Matthias. And also thank you to Derek, who has this very really lovely family in Kentucky. Being in Kentucky, I don't think they do much sailing anymore, but him and his wife, Matilda, used to sail on San Francisco Bay in the past. So thank you very much to all three of them and everybody who's been helping support the project. 